say I can turn brush paper into a detailed model, it can also turn your rough sketches into photorealistic images. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be looking at a tool called LookX, which claims to be an AI designed for architects. I saw this AI first shared by Tim Fu, who is one of the pioneers of exploring architecture through artificial intelligence. He had created 3D plans from just a few rough sketches and also some crazy looking physical models from a crushed sheet of paper. We'll be trying the LookX AI in this video and also see what are the images that it can generate and also discuss what are the pros and cons of this artificial intelligence. The LookX AI currently has 10 free image generations per day and the premium plan comes around $20 per month which gives unlimited image generations. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Before jumping into the AI software, I made some concept sketches that can be used as the base file for the AI rendering. I'm making these sketches on Photoshop with my digital tablet and it's pretty straightforward. In this video, we will probably make four different iterations of renderings, an elevation view, an interior view, a master plan and also a crushed sheet of paper that can be used as the base for the rendering. I'm not adding too many details into the sketches and I'm just going to make them really sparse and see what AI can come up with. After you've created your base references, you can head over to the website called lookx.ai and this is what the home page would look like. You can scroll down to see what are the features that are available in this LookX AI. And just like other websites, this is a prompt based platform as well. The additional feature is that this is a platform made especially for designers and architects. You have the login option on the top right corner of the site and you can log in by either creating a username and password or by using your Google ID. Once you log in, this is what the home page will look like and it's called a Creators Plaza. In this page, you will see the images and renders created by other people. All the images in the home page are categorized in different labels called Top Choice, Architecture Design, Interior Design and so on. You can click on each tag label to see the images created under those specific tags. When you open an image, you can see the details that are used for creating that rendering. On the right side, we have the prompts that were used for this rendering. And also this rendering was created from a base image that is probably taken as a screenshot from a SketchUp model. When you scroll down, you can see that there's something called style reference image. This is basically an image that you need to provide to the AI that will help the AI to pick the specific style that you want to create with your rendering. In this particular rendering, the AI has taken the light settings and the reflections from this style reference image and it has reflected it back into the base image. We can then head over to the start creations page and this is where we'll be creating our rendering. These are some of the images that I created previously and this photorealistic rendering of a bedroom was created using this illustration that I made earlier. As you can see, this has done a really good job in capturing the essence of the illustration and the quality of the rendering is pretty good in terms of lighting, materials and reflections. The other set of these colorful renderings of the bedroom was created using another black and white illustration that I made. These have a vibrant, lively and an artistic quality towards the rendering. The realistic renderings are made under the render mode and these kind of exploratory renderings are made under the explore mode. And another thing that we need to know is the free credits that are available in our account. You have a grey coin icon on the top right corner that shows the number of renderings that you can do for free. This resets to 10 every single day and mine is currently 6 because I have created 4 new images this morning. So each time you generate an image, you will be losing one free credit from this icon. So let's start generating our first image from the render mode and under this we have multiple options to choose from. We will start with the elevation first, so let's select the architecture mode and the image type is the hand sketch that we have created earlier. Under hand sketch we have a conceptual mode as well as a detail mode. Let's choose the conceptual mode for this rendering. It then takes us to the next page where we can add more details and also upload the base image that we created earlier. Let's upload our elevation sketch and we have multiple options to choose the type of rendering that we want to create. I'm choosing the render type as accurate for now and as you choose the options, it keeps adding on onto the prompt dialog box. Let's choose the rendering style for now. We are now at the prompt dialog box and this is an interesting feature that is provided in the LookX AI. You can select the labels and inside the dialog box you have multiple options to choose the category of prompts that you want to apply towards your rendering. We have categories such as views, form and function, exterior style and also the architect style that you want to recreate. 
Once you choose options from this list, it pretty much adds up to your prompt, but you can additionally add more text to your prompt as per your liking. We then have a dialog box called style reference, and this is the reference image that we need to provide to the AI to replicate the kind of render quality that we want in our generation. I'm just going to quickly go into Pinterest and look for an image setting and upload that into the style reference dialog box. So once we are ready, we can hit that start generation. It takes about 40 seconds to 1 minute in real time to generate the rendering. So here's the image that AI has generated from the base sketch. I had thought about these curved surfaces as two dimensional planes, but AI has interpreted those as three dimensional volume. Pretty awesome. Using this dialog box in the bottom, you can compare the base sketch with the generated image. You also have additional options to edit them or scale the image that was generated. Let's just save this for now and go to the next set of renderings that we're trying to create. For the next rendering, let's choose the interior sketch that we created and upload it and follow the same process. We'll have to choose the design scenario as interior and the hand sketch as conceptual as well. Let's follow the same settings and for the prompts, we have a different set of labels for the interior setting. Most of what I thought in the sketch is not provided in the label, so I'm just going to write my own prompts. I'm going to include text such as atrium space, elevated walkways, wooden pathways, indoor trees, and an eye level perspective. I also found a nice style reference image on Pinterest, so I've uploaded that on the next dialog box. Let's hit render and see what it creates. That's a nice rendering and gives a feeling of a formal open space. I don't know why it has ignored the human figures and I did not see human figures on the other renderings that we saw earlier as well. But other than that, it's a really good rendering and it has taken that contrasting yellow color from the style reference image that I provided. So let's save this and go to the next set of rendering. For the planned rendering, I'm going to choose the architecture style and type in the prompts such as flow plan of a resort, curve shape, alongside a beach with water and vegetation and so on. Let's start the generation and see what it creates. The output was not quite close to what I thought, but it's definitely a good output. The scale of the image that AI has taken is pretty out of the box and I did not think of it in this scale. I wouldn't say the planning is very good, but it has reflected the other portions of the prompt pretty well. I recreated the same image with other settings and the results were different this time. For the last rendering, which is the crushed sheet of paper, I chose the architecture scenario and most of the prompts were directly selected from the labels that are provided. I chose settings such as commercial building complex, parametric envelope, polished concrete, grid frame and so on. I chose a rendered image of a similar type for the style reference and I hit the render button. The impressive part about this output is how AI is able to generate build spaces considering the light, shadow and the geometric lines of the crushed paper. I would definitely not say that the output can be considered as a built architecture space but it can be considered as a great attempt to interpret something from a very simple image. I tried the same image with few other different prompts and this is what it created. So that was it from the LookX AI. I really like the interface and how it was specifically tailored for architects to use. The predefined prompt label was a really nice addition and would be really helpful for beginners. But also if you want to create more interesting and unique renderings, you might have to work on your own prompts because the predefined ones give us only the standard outputs. And since the platform is only in its beginning stage, I think it will be developed much soon. Comment down what you think about this AI platform and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I'll also be trying out other AI platforms for architects like Stable Diffusion and Chrome AI. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified. I'll see you on the next one.